Hello guys, this is Fury, and welcome to my Terraria Starter House Home Improvement Guide. This video is going to show you how to turn the typical wooden square box house into a more detailed and overall better looking home, all by using materials that are easily obtainable or craftable very early in the game. This guide is geared toward those of you who either have never tried to build anything very detailed, or those of you who say you just don't have the creativity to do so. You do. You can build anything you want in this game. Anyone can. So hopefully this little guide can help you out a bit and get you started on that. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so here we have a wooden square box. <laughs> it's ba the basic, uh, basic little newbie house. So before we start improving this, I'm actually gonna build the same exact thing over to the right. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get rid of this door. Anyway, for real, the first thing we need to do is we're going to build a roof, like a real proper roof out of gray brick, because gray brick is pretty easy to get really early on. So first, just going to build this triangle. And if you've seen my first part of my roof building guide, then the roof we're making is uh, roof number one, the single or whatever. That's what I call it. But for now, I'm going to use wood fence over on this side as like a little support beam. And I'm eventually going to do some fence down there and on both sides outside of the house to add more details outside. But for now, let's just do the roof. And now gray brick wall. I'm going to work across to maybe around there. And then angle it in on this side, and then just fill in the rest of this with gray brick wall. Now I'm gonna slope these, and we're gonna leave the top one though, regular, because I'm gonna put wood platforms across the top of the roof. Now for the wood platforms, all the way across, and then I'm gonna put them up angled in just like the background wall. Oops. Over here. Okay. And now I'm gonna hammer these into stairs on this side, just like this. And then we're gonna put some more, another staircase, a roof staircase on this side. And the roof is finished, pretty much. Let's just uh, add this right at top. Okay, now really quick, let me just add a little bit more wood fence right up there. And that's what we're gonna be working on now. After I put this sign here, you could, uh, you know, name the house whatever you want, write whatever you want on that sign. But now we're gonna put fence outside. It adds like a nice touch, but we're gonna probably add some more details a little bit later on out here. But for now, just put the fence on that side. And, uh-oh, we got ourselves a slime invader. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Finish putting the fence on this side now. See, it's already starting to really come together into this nice little environment. Okay. Now, we need to start decorating the inside of this place. Starting with the attic room right up here. I'm just gonna wall it in with wood wall like the rest of the house but we're gonna end up adding some more little details up here so don't worry okay now something i really like to do is i like to use trim in the rooms like this i'm using gray brick wall because it ties it in really nicely with the roof like this whole this house is a wood and gray brick build. So yeah, adding this trim inside to the rooms makes it look really nice and it pulls the whole thing together and it actually adds 
you know, a nice, nice bit of detail to it, and it's such an easy thing to do. Now, I'm gonna add some windows above the tables on both sides, but, uh, okay. Three by three. Three by three glass wall windows, and they kind of stand out and don't really look too great. So we're going to put curtains on the sides to kind of blend the windows in nicely. And if you take a trip to your dungeon entrance, you can steal some either metal shelf or wood shelf or uh, bronze shelf. All of them look good. So just take a trip there to your dungeon entrance and steal some books, steal some shelving, and look at that, because any, any, all three of those shelves look great as uh, curtain rods. Now, some clay pots. Clay is also really easy to get early on. All you need is a furnace to make the clay pots. And again, I mentioned get some books at your dungeon entrance, throw up some platforms, and then toss some books on those platforms. It's a nice detail. Boom. Already, we're not finished yet. Getting close, getting close to finished. But uh, now it's time to lay down our crafting stations. So I'm gonna put that down there. And then the furnace up here, along with the anvil right next to it, just squeeze that in the corner. And boom, just like that. See? Nice little starting house, but still not finished. Gonna add some wooden beam over here and over here. And just a nice little window up top. Okay. With some platforms above and below. And I'm gonna hammer the uh, top platform to the down position. So that's right above the glass wall. Looks nice. And add a little bottle right there, just a jar. Because we can. And a cobweb there, also because we can. <laughs> it's nice adding these little details. Okay, basically we're finished with the inside now. Now, actually wait, one more thing. We'll add these workbenches blocking the doorways so that during a blood moon, the zombies won't be able to open the doors. You have to turn backwards to open them. I like doing that. I like blocking doors with uh, wood beams or furniture just, you know, to protect against blood moons. That works on the PC anyway. I don't think it works on console yet. Now, to finish up the entire area, I'm gonna add a couple of uh, sunflowers. It's not just a house anymore. It's a nice, got a nice little starting village, a nice country cottage out here. And then if you're not going to use these for dyes, then they look really nice scattered around. Strange plants, just add one here, one there. One of these from the dungeon entrance again, and a bonfire. Now, if you want to progress a little bit further into the game and kill... Because all of this so far you can do before you even fight a boss. You can build this. But if you kill your first boss and the Dryad shows up, you can buy some grass wall. And you could use this grass wall to add even more detail and more personality to the outside. Makes it look a little more like homey and overgrown. But yeah, it fits in really nice with this country cottage type of feel we got going on. I'm gonna finish it, finish it up right here. Add some behind these sunflowers, like a nice little bush back here. And there we go. We are all finished, guys. All finished. And what's really cool is we get the banner buff from the curtains that protects us against slimes, the happy buff from the sunflowers that increases our movement speed, and the cozy fire buff from the bonfire that increases our life regen. Really, really helpful buffs to have around your starting town. Anyway, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I especially hope that some of you find it useful. Remember, you can build this very early on in the game. The hardest materials to find are probably the books and shelves from the dungeon, but that's only because you have to walk all the way to the dungeon. As long as you don't go too far in, you'll be fine to steal some of the old man's books. Alrighty guys, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in a new video. Peace out.